And Sachevsky away very quickly. He's already starting to make up our ground on Cronin on his outside. Castillo running well. The Spaniard N7 is doing well. But coming into the home straight, it's going to be Zakshevsky. Zakshevsky's got half a meter on the rest of the field. Gerber, Cronin and Castillo battling for the bronze on the inside though. Sperring coming through. Sperring took an unheralded silver medal. But goal goes to Marek Zakshevsky. He makes it a double. The last man to do the 100-200 meter double was Britain's Dan Campbell back in 1991. But Marek Zakshevsky, personal best as well, 2063. Less than two tenths outside the Polish under 20 record, which has stood for a very long time to Karol Zalowski. Spearing goes under 21 seconds as well. Shades a hundredth of his personal best. Quite rare that you see personal best for all three medalists and indeed four out of eight of our finalists. Milos Nisic of Serba, the other who finished in seventh. Arms raised for Marek Zakshevsky. Celebrations all round. Timo Spearing taking the silver equally delighted the final of the women's 200 meters some terrific young talent in this once again we've got two very fast Brits they were first and second in the 100 and success Edouan going very nicely Sulian in the red of Hungary just behind her now and starting to try and come through Edouan bobbing her cheeks here's Lindo oh my words what a finale to that race looked like Sulian from Lindo and Edouan but the Swede look at the shock on her face it's the gold 23 26 and another personal best another tenth taken off it she wins by eight thousandths of a second. And the effort in just trying to claw back the advantage on Edouan. I just wonder whether she could see Sulian, who's possibly even put in the shade by Edouan as she comes past Edouan. She's probably got no sense that Sulian is also starting a surge at this stage. But Linval makes it by eight thousandths of a second as she's dipping and desperately striding for the line well falls to the track i'm sure any bruises and battering will be assuaged by the fact that very shortly she's going to have a gold medal hung around her neck success edouan takes a bronze it was a really good run from the briton but in the end finishing third as she sees women either side of it just go past her in the final few meters. Now Lampanen, he's in second place at the moment with that 76.94. Oh, that's a huge effort. That's absolutely unbelievable effort. That's very close to the 80 meter line. Well, I say the line, it's a virtual line out there. But I think that's going to take the lead by some margin. Everything just fell into place there for Lampanen. Just wait, 79-72. That's a world under 20 lead. Well, he's put almost two meters, two meters bar a centimeter between himself and Casidis. Say that they hit the bell. So it's Borosset, Laros, and Gaidos. That's the one, two, three at the moment. And then a gap back to the rest of the field. Now Gaidos struggling to stay with the turn of pace from Laros. Laros now with 300 meters to go. Just smoothly gliding around Brosset. Can Brosset hang on? Can he grit his teeth? Can he 
stay there and get a medal. But Laros now heading for home as he's coming into the home straight. Just over 100 meters, and Laros stretching the way, making it look so easy. He's looking as though he's an 800 meter runner, just blowing very slightly, whereas grimaces across the face of everyone else behind him. It's going to be gold for the Netherlands. Niels Lara takes gold. The time doesn't really matter. It's around 3.56. Brossa comes through. A superb silver medal for Switzerland. He did everything right to get himself in a medal position. And Gaidos comes through for the bronze. Oh, no, he was trying to out-sprint. Niels Laros, dangerous game to play, but the young Austrian, full of energy, coming into an ultimate lap. And Kauner really trying to give everything on this final lap. So, potentially closing in, battling against this championship record now of 8.50, giving everything towards the finish. But what a sensational performance from the Latvian to take European under 20 goals. Oh, just three seconds outside that record that's been held for 30 years. But no matter, it's still an incredible time. And when you lead the world list, you actually have to come and do it on the track. That's exactly what she's achieved. Venichka overtaking Ben Fares in the closing stages then. She comes through absolute delight. Well, that's a performance that is going to ring very loudly all the way from here in Jerusalem. The result of that fantastic women's 3,000 meter final led by Agatha Kauna throughout 8.53.20. I did it, I did it, because, you know, last month I focused on that. I did a great job, hard work sessions, and you know you do. And this feeling is amazing, because that job that you have done, you but you're trained hard, and you can run this amazing time, in a, and I won this medal. I'm so happy about that. So a real roar there from spectators inside the Give Out Ram Stadium. As we see Gunnlaugsen, Isaksen in the red and black of Denmark get a fantastic start. What a young talent. He actually beat Cameron Chalmers in that particular race to win the Ireland Games. A former winner of European age group titles, of course. And his fellow Brit Charlie Carvel also going nicely with Maximilian Schwed in the red and white of Poland. Just shading it as things stand. But as we know, in the 400 metres, things can change down the home straight. Gunlight and Isaacson rocking from side to side. Schwed looking good. What about Carvel? Suk was battling for a medal too. What a fight. This is a Schwed fight. Gunlight and Isaacson ahead of Carvel. And what a fight for bronze over the line. Well, this young Dane really announcing himself. Coming into the home straight with 80 meters to go, it's still the pole, and then flying down the home straight. I said yesterday, in the context of another race, it looked like they'd had a firework lit beneath him, and it looks like that again with Gunledson Isaacson. That's a terrific run from the Dane. Sved, you can see there with the blue background on his bib, indicates the European leader. Well, he'll be a bit disappointed with the way he tied up there. Carvel, as Alex observed, yes, clearly wanted the goal. Looked potentially the favourite after his runs through the heats and semi-final. But you can't really deny the delight of this man. Jonas Gleason Isaacson. What a run from him. Uh, I knew if I had a win. I have to go start now, I have to go quick from the start, and I did, and I feel amazing around, and I came to 100 meters, I saw I was in the lead, I just need to hold it, and I did, so, amazing. Well, Nemex out in lane six has gone out very quickly indeed, he's got quickly up on the shoulder of Manuel, Manuel at this stage running very conservatively, but we know that she's got a flying finish. 
also running well at this stage on her inside Sebastian the Slovenian but it's Nemet absolutely going for broke over the first 200 meters Tulum on the outside having a good run as well and now almost as if she took it as a cue Manuel starts her surge for home Manuel from the 200 meter mark starting to accelerate and it's Manuel with the slight advantage coming into the home straight but then it's four abreast in the battle behind her Deu having the race of a lifetime on the inside lane just remember the Frenchman got through as a fastest non-automatic qualifier but it's Manuel unofficially 51-96 This afternoon, she was the only woman in Europe under 52 seconds. She's done it again. It was that brilliant battle, and uh, she has improved from 53.26 to 52.99 behind that Dutch national under 20 record for Van der Schroet. And there it's a, a smaller margin of three hundredths of a second, but she was fighting right until the end for this bronze medal here behind uh, Dio absolutely stunning perhaps further ahead of the pack than we expected her to be but Manuel was always likely to come through and triumph and could it be two goals for Manuel because she'll be drafted in to the Czech 4x400 four meter squad and they look very good in the heats this morning Gran on his inside Gran a 337 man but Greeks He's gritting his teeth and he's pulling away. He's not going to let his title go without a fight. Grombo straying with him, still on his shoulder behind him. It looks as though it's one of the Britons. Bradley Gibbon, Giblin coming through at the bronze. No, but Grom, Grom, <laughs> easing up. The legs have gone from Nick Griggs and Grom just eased his way around the Irishman. Gold goes to Sweden in the shape of Jonathan Graham. Nick Greeks can't defend his title and has to settle for silver on this occasion. And Bradley Giblin comes through ahead of the rest, easing his way over the final 200 meters to pull away for bronze. That wasn't the outcome he wanted or expected. Jonathan Graham, though, smiles and delight. Of course, was part of a phenomenal championships two years ago for Ireland. And not many athletes come away with European under 20 medals from more than one championships. So that in itself is impressive. We've got four gold medals as we look at Angelina Topic. First attempt at 1 meter 90 for the Super Serbian. And clears. Perhaps a little less convincingly than some of her earlier performances, but still nice jump with a fair bit of daylight. Well, Topic has had a lot of competitions this year, and only one of them has been under 190, so you'd be expecting her to clear. Still back to daylight. Uh, I mean, uh, this is what everyone uh, here is, is, is craving. The, I, I mean, a gold medal in the, one of the biggest competitions uh, we can challenge in. Um, I would like to, I, I, I did want to uh, continue a little bit higher, uh, but my coach said to, to go to the hotel and get dressed because I uh, have long jump final tomorrow in the morning. Uh, this was also a really big challenge for me because this is my first competition where I had to do two events. So two days ago I had to do qualifications high jump and then in the morning, this morning I had qualifications in long jump where I had to wake up at 4 a.m. To, <laughs> to, to get ready. So yeah, uh, I'm going now back to the hotel, as my coach, my dad said, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get ready for tomorrow.